everybody it is your girl melissa and it's your boy james here and we are the answers, answers on cut you guys before we jump into this video make sure you like this video give it a thumbs up you may not even know what we're talking about <laughs> but you are in the right place you guys, we're going to be talking about how you can build your spouse's confidence level in six amazing ways that you probably haven't even thought of. This is so important in a healthy relationship. Subscribe to this channel. You do not want to miss this episode. you know confidence is something that comes from within you know a lot of people feel like confidence has to be external but it needs to be built internally within yeah. you and you know not having confidence leads to all kinds of insecurities that you don't want in your relationship there was a the reason how we thought of this uh, topic before we get into the six ways that you mm -hmm. do not want to miss because they are so stay uniquely tuned. Stay tuned. profound was when a little bit after we were married, mm -hmm. James was doing something and I was like, dang, James is really confident. And I think I was just like floating around the house with no top on. I'm like, wow, I'm really confident. And I was thinking about like how we were when we first met. Yeah. And I was just like, wow, like we have really built each other up to where we're so like king and queen, like we're so confident. And, you know, of course, God is first, but we have such a, a big role to play in one another's yes. confidence building. Yes. So we were just like, wow, this is so powerful. We want to share this with other couples on our channel because they may miss out on a wonderful opportunity to make their relationship even stronger. Mm. So let's go ahead and dive into the first thing. And that's going to be showing your partner more than just love. Mm. You want to show them. Better tell them. <sighs> And I know for me and James, you want to show them respect, mm -hmm. you know, especially from a woman's perspective. You want to show your man respect. respect. You want to show him honor. You want to show him admiration, you know, and I think that that as a man boosts his confidence. Yeah. Like, wow, my, my woman trusts me. She trusts me when it comes to making decisions. Mm -hmm. She honors me when it comes to, you know, making sure the house is clean and making sure his food is cooked and stuff like that. She respects me, she admires me. And again, that is just the number one thing that we have decided as how you can build your spouse's confidence. Show them more than respect. Show them more than just love. Show them more than just admiration. And if you're showing them all of those things, mm -hmm. you're building up their confidence. And that's so true. I can actually attest to that, you know, when she, you know, not only just more than just love, because I know she loves me and, you know, I you, love can, you, baby. you can always say, you know, I love you, baby. And, you know, all this. But, you know, how do you show that love? You know, is it yeah. through respect? Is it, you know, hey, knowing that I had a long day, you know, making sure that, you know, the house is kept clean. Mm -hmm. She'll light some nice candles going and yeah. you know just little things you know have my food already you know prepped and cooked yeah. for me just little things like that to just show her appreciation you know showing her love this helps boost my confidence because i know i have somebody that doesn't just say they love me they actually show it. Mm, that was deep i like that oh, for real. and the same thing for men make sure that you're you're doing those yeah. things for your women for your women yeah whether it's foot rubs oh yeah you know all of that oh, yes. back rubs thank you you know taking her out <laughs> you know on dates you gotta do it so the second thing is you know words of affection you know just complimenting her on some good things that she does like you know i just said how she you know always cooks amazing food and you know her food is you know like like chef top chef quality and you I know say all that. when you throw those kind of compliments around <laughs> it shows an appreciation yeah. and you get more of it 
so you exactly. know, that's, that's the so true. That's the secret, guys. That's so true. That's the secret. You want to yes. you want to emphasize on the things you want more of that she does well. Yeah, yeah. So saying things like that, doing things, you know, babe, I love when you, you know, I love when I get home and you know you have my clothes folded up, or you know you have food cooked, or you have the house smelling nice, or. You know, you just got on that thing that I like to see, you know, <laughs> that thing that I like to see. So just little things like that, man. You it's are reverse already, psychology. It's reverse psychology. Yeah, you are literally, you're literally setting yourself up for success. Yeah, because not only are you maximizing the positive, mm -hmm. but you're not even addressing the negative. No. So now, I mean, even for a man and, and ladies, take notes because he would literally like leave his clothes, his pajamas by the front of the bed. But the one time he doesn't, I'm like, oh baby, I love when you, you know, when you put your pajamas up, you know? And, and them pajamas would be on the floor. Hey, and right. she would say that and I will be like, hey, and, let me go get yeah, my pajamas exactly. the floor. But as soon as I say, oh baby, I love when you pick up your pajamas off the floor. I love when you, yeah. you know, I love when you surprise me. And I love when you cook. Now it's like, oh my God, now I'm building up his confidence because he's feeling good. He's like, yeah, my baby like that. Yeah, I did good. And now he's more prone to do it again. Yeah. Even though his pajamas is still on the floor this morning. So <laughs> <laughs> work in progress, guys. It's a work in progress. It doesn't happen overnight, all right? Exactly what I feel about you. <laughs> all right, ladies. Before I let you guys in on this secret, I need you guys to subscribe to our channel. Look, we're not, we not even about to talk no further unless you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like guys, this video as well, y'all. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. We love you guys. This is, I think, one of my secret weapons. And I'm going to just be completely honest with you. Mm -hmm. What is it? What's your secret <laughs> weapon here? I need to know I'm, this. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I need you. to know this one you. right here. I need to know this one. So, um, if you guys know, I, I do have my MBA, but um, I do have my undergraduate degree from the University of South Carolina. And my major was psychology. So, one of the things that I love doing with him is, drum roll please, is I, I whisper in his ear. Mm. That's a, I whisper in his ear at night. That's crazy. I don't even be knowing you be doing When he's sleeping. You guys. That's crazy, y'all. Right. This is why he think he cute now. <laughs> this is why he think he's so cute now. But when I tell you this works, I should write a book. You should write a book. I about. should write a book. But ladies, and, and this may even work for women. I mean, I don't think you be talking in my ear, I think you'd be nibbling on it, but uh, I know for me specifically is when James is sleeping, I'm whispering in his ear. Mm. Because I know that whatever I'm saying to him is gonna really get into his subconscious. And I'm saying, you are so wise. You are so amazing. You are such a king. Why are you so sexy? Why are you so, why, why are you so amazing? Mm. And he may not even realize that I'm doing this. And I've probably done it like, maybe like 10 times or 12 times throughout our relationship. But I know in my spirit that this has contributed to his, him growing in his self-confidence, mm. right? So let me give you an example. We all remember those times where we used to go to sleep with the TV on. Mm -hmm. And you wake up thinking you got mesothelioma because you're watching <laughs> right. those commercials. Watch, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so this is the exact same thing. Yep. You Subconsciously, know? the exactly. TV's on in the background, and <laughs> you know you have the TV on, and sometimes if it's like a violent movie, you end up with like some violent. Yeah, movies. you wake up crack, trying to karate chop right. people. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I definitely am with you on that. Exactly. So it is the same thing. So yes, that's gonna be step three. Is gonna be whisper in your partner's ear, just some mm. positive words some amazing words just some confident boosters while they're sleeping and you may not even realize it but they may wake up feeling even better mm. and it's crazy because we don't sometimes we don't understand the power of our words and that can mm. be a whole nother discussion right there yeah. but our words have so much power in what we say you can literally speak life into somebody mm -hmm. just by giving them encouragement and you know just listening to their day by or or just you know giving them compliments that kind of 
what I would say is kind of stroke the ego a little bit. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, it's steered in a positive direction and that can go so far, yeah. especially if they're having a rough time. One thing you also want to do is you always want to encourage your partner, especially when they have bright ideas. Like, you know, she just said she wanted to write a book. Baby, do it. That will be a New York Times bestseller. You are the best author the 21st century has ever heard of. So, I mean, things like that, you have to boost and affirm yeah. your partner to raise that confidence level, especially in their hopes and dreams yeah. and the things that they want to do. Even though it may not sound like it's something that is, that can work, you still want to, you know, have that confidence in them because they may be having a vision that you don't really see yet, but ultimately them sharing it with you, your response can either kill that dream mm. or it can build that dream. So, so realize cool. realize how your responses are. Yeah, because I feel like God gives us so many good ideas. Yeah. And I feel like the world and the way our mind is programmed to just be so easily distracted allows yeah. for those, those dreams and those great ideas to fleet in a matter yeah. of moments. Yeah. So, uh, James, you just hit the nail on the head when you literally said, uh, that your partner can either build those dreams mm -hmm. or allow or for those dreams, dreams to fleet away. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know one thing that I've learned with being with James is that nothing is impossible. Like my mom used to always tell me that the sky is not the limit. My mom mm. said, you could do anything. Yeah. And then I feel like James is the exact same way. He's like, you know, if, if you could, you could do anything. So if I tell James, hey, baby, I, I'm gonna quit my job and I'm gonna, start a million dollar, trillion dollar company, you know, teaching people how to twerk. He's gonna be like, go for it, baby. Go for if it. God put that in your heart, do it. Yeah, <laughs> because you gotta think about it, guys. Everything that we see here came from somebody's thought and somebody's yeah. imagination. Even from God's imagination, what we are today. So to say that, you know, this person can't do something is kind of like, almost like a slap in the face to God. Cause yeah. it's like, you don't know what God has blessed them with or yeah. for the imagination for the next like iPhone, the mm. next camera, the next crazy new invention. So yeah, anything that you can imagine, you can bring it to life. Absolutely. So believe yeah. in your partner's imagination. Yes. Uh, because that's definitely going to be something that's going to help boost their confidence. And I know even in the the sermon series that we're in now, our pastor even talks about that. He talks about how your mm -hmm. imagination frames your reality. Yes, yes. So, yes, so you just definitely want to make sure that you're building your partner's confidence by believing in their dreams, believing in what it is that they imagine, and just making sure that you're, that you're there for them. All right, guys, so another tip on how you can boost your spouse's confidence level is allow for them to flex a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So allow for them to demonstrate their strong suits. Mm -hmm. So James is really, really good at taking out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a trash. professional trash taker. Leave right? it outside of your door, warm the trash, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, and this is just a microcosm of what I'm really trying to get yeah. at. But allowing him to do something that he's good at, regardless of the gender, mm -hmm. I'm gonna allow him to do that. So, say for example, when it comes to finances, everybody thinks that the man is supposed to take over the finances. Yeah. But for him, he knows that I, I'm obviously a financial advisor, so I'm, I like finances, I'm good at finances and managing money, so he allows for me to demonstrate my strong suit. Yes. So the more that I'm doing something that I like and I'm doing something that I'm good at, that boosts my my confidence level. Yes. And he's allowing me to demonstrate my, my gift. He's allowing me to demonstrate what it is that I'm good at. Same thing for him. If he's super good at that at showing us what workouts to do and, and how to eat healthy, then that's something that he's in charge of. Mm -hmm. So now he's demonstrating his strong suits and he's feeling good about it because it's something that he loves, it's something that he enjoys, and it's something that he's good at. Mm -hmm. So the last tip that we have for you guys here to build your spouse's confidence is to show humility and show grace. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody is perfect and we all make mistakes and we're gonna make mistakes as couples and the amount of grace that you show to your partner 
is going to be a reflection of the grace you get back. So when she messes up, like she spills a cup of water, you know, I'm gonna be like, oh babe, you know, let me help you clean that or let me help you with that. And when I do the same, she does the same to me. She helps me with that as well. So just little things like that, being able to be humble enough to show grace and being able to, you know, know that nobody's perfect, but being there to help your partner pick up the pieces, that's really what's gonna help build their confidence, knowing that they have room to fail. Because if they feel like, you know, if I fail, this relationship is over, then they won't have the boldness and the confidence to take any risks. Mm. And if they don't take any risks, they don't grow. Wow, that's like a child. It is learning like a child. how to walk. It is like a child learning how to wow. walk. So if I know my baby has my back, if I'm taking on this new business venture, and if it fails, it doesn't matter, she'll be right there and we'll pick up the pieces and keep moving, that gives me confidence to keep moving and purpose and keep moving. But if I have to be on edge and feel like, man, if, if I fail at this, I'm not even gonna wanna do it. Yeah. And we're gonna be stagnant. So just have that grace with your partner. I think that's amazing. I think I, I just I just love this topic because there's so much power in yeah. in your relationship when you guys are building each other up mm. from the inside out, not only through your relationship with God, but also through your confidence level, because confidence exudes in so many different things. Mm. It exudes so through your work, so how true. you you interact with your friends and family. So true. With people off the street, I mean your confidence level is is exemplified everywhere. Mm. So you guys we really enjoyed talking to the to you guys about this topic but mm -hmm. if you enjoyed it make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to our channel and again if you love talking about relationships and travel and all different kinds of stuff then you are in the right place and we appreciate you guys so much but until next time we, we are, are the answers, answers on cutting